Hello everyone, I'm Aminur Rashid Nordin and today I'm going to present my paper titled Fuzzy Logic Control for Quad Auto, Micro Aerial Vehicle, Altitude and Attitude Stabilizations. My presentation outline will be Introduction, Problem Statement, Micro Aerial Vehicle Modeling, Control Design, Simulation Result and Conclusions. Now let's start for the introductions. Recently, many quad rotor drones have been developed based on their size and purpose, such as mini drones, hobby drones, selfie drones, racing drones, and a proportional drones. Mini drones or micro aerial vehicle get attention by educator or researcher due to small scale of size with mass less than 0.1 kg and it are very reliable and safe to perform in denial GPS space such as halls, schools and so on. For the problem statements, this mini drone squad auto structure is simple yet it is an underactuated a dynamic vehicle with 4 input force and 6 degree of freedom which can be controlled by varying roto speeds. These characteristics make controlling the quad roto a difficult task. As a result, a robust autonomous flight capability is required for a quad roto to accomplish the desired task in terms of attitude control and navigation control. In realistic flight controller design applications, most researchers face the greatest challenge where the quad roto dynamics are very nonlinear and are impacted by perturbations. In general, quad roto are inherently unstable systems, therefore stabilization control is required. The purpose is to maintain its stability during maneuver, therefore a suitable control strategy is needed. Various control methods have been proposed such as a sliding control, PID and LQR control, feedback realizations, and backstepping control. However, this paper focuses on fuzzy logic control for altitude and attitude stabilization of micro aerial vehicle. In addition, a slight perturbation was applied to observe the robustness of this controller during hovering. Now, Let's focus on MAV modeling. The dynamic equations describing the quad roto UAV are given in the following form. On the left side is the equation for translational dynamics consists of acceleration of x, y, and z. And on the right side is the rotational dynamics composed of angular rate of roll, pitch, and yo. For controlling the MAV attitude and altitude, this paper consider roll pitch and yo for the attitude and z axis for the altitude. Now let's focus on control design. Fuzzy logic is designed to control MAV during hovering and altitude stabilizations. Here four variable states z for altitude, roll, pitch and yaw for attitude are used as feedback response and four dedicated fuzzy logic control have been designed to control each state. The errors and iteratives are used as fuzzy logic controls input to generate required outputs to stabilize MAV during hovering and stabilize the attitude. In addition, an integral fit forward is applied to improve the steady state of the response signals. In this Mamdani fuzzy model, three memberships function is created for error and derivative error. The triangle shape, SP line base S shapes, the SP line base Z shapes, and Gaussian membership function are used accordingly. The error and derivative error are set to normalize at range minus two to two. The linguistic variable used for error and derivative error are negative, zero, and positive. For the output, 
high membership function is created to cover more areas during centroid methods diversifications. This fuzzy membership function for the output are a mix of triangles type and sigmoid membership type. The range for the output is set normalized at minus 10 to 10. The linguistic variables used for the output are slow down, fast down, hover, slow up, and fast up. These 3x3 three three rule tables are created based on heuristic using if then statements and combined with logical n. For instance, if error is a negative and derivative error is negative, then the output is fast down or slow down. The number in the bracket is a weightage set for the fuzzy engine to determine probability of which rules need to be active in case there are two set of rules are developed. Now let's look for the output based on simulation result. This is the quadroto model setup in MATLAB simulating environment used in this paper comprised of quadroto dynamic model blocks and a fuzzy logic control block for each state Z, roll, pitch and yaw. In the simulation without perturbations, the initial states for the altitude is set at 0 and the attitude angle is set at 0.1 radian. The quadroto is expected to be hover at 2 meters and stabilize at a zero radians. Clearly show for the altitude, the Koroto can reach 2 meter in 4 seconds with IAE of 4.525 and for the altitude, the roll, pitch and yaw can stabilize at a zero radian in about 1 milliseconds, 2 milliseconds and 0 0.64 milliseconds respectively and the IEE is not a bigger than 0 0.06 as stated here in this table. In the case with perturbation, during the quadrato is hovering, a slightly forced such as a pulse injected after 15 seconds, the quadrato still managed to stabilize its position with least steady state error. Comparison table of IAE show only altitude of Z is affected while the altitude roll pitch and yaw is maintained. This show how robustness of this fuzzy logic control against perturbations. And finally, for the conclusions, in this paper, a control law using the PD plus I fuzzy logic controller with 3x3 three three membership function is proposed to improve the control performance of Colorado UAV for altitude Z and the attitude roll pitch and yaw stabilizations. The simulation on the purpose PD plus I fuzzy logic controller system was conducted in a MATLAB simulating environment where the result demonstrates an acceptable performance without or with perturbations or slightly forced apply on altitude Z. In the future, generate algorithm or particles from algorithm can be applied to optimize the controller performance. Furthermore, investigations on the control positions using proposed control scheme can be investigated to have a complete control of 6 degree of freedom quadruple. That's all and thank you for listening.